Work, travel, eating, out, not home. Hmm. So thanks for stopping by Reg Edited. I'm Reggie. I felt like I needed to do a video about fasting in the midst of chaos. So this is my story. Work is insane. Sometimes you have to travel for meetings on a regular basis. In my case, I don't have to travel as much, but when I do, it can be very chaotic for me just to get to the meetings. For instance, I have to set up a caregiver for my mom, someone that would stay the night with her, and you can't leave her with anyone, but I have a wonderful daytime caregiver that helps, and so she will stay. And of course, that does cost a lot more money, but nevertheless, I have to get to my trainings and to work. At the same time, you're fasting. You guys know that to get the best results in your meal plan and while you're in a minute fasting, you need to eat at home as much as possible. Eating at home will take out the extra chemicals, uh, things that are going into that you have no idea, the sauces, the richness of it all, extra carbs that you didn't consider because you don't do that when you're at home. So for me, it's a high stressful time to eat out on a regular basis while you're away. I was away from home for three days and I thought I had it all prepared and I had my plan like we talked about before so I would not get caught in eating multiple times a day. Sometimes you have to allow for these things to happen and that's what I did. I knew that I had lunch meetings and then also in between a training I was going through, I also knew that it was gonna be lunch there, snacks there, constantly you're smelling a lot of food. And then you have your after dinner meetings. Nevertheless, you know you're going to be eating multiple times. I thought I had the plan that would set me aside from everyone else. It didn't work. It actually failed, okay? During these dinners, there's also alcohol involved. I have cut back alcohol out of my life quite a bit. The weekends is usually the time that I would have a glass of wine or two and or Prosecco, which is my favorite, which is another type of wine. Now, I've always been pretty good about watching what I drink and the amount that I drink. All of that is adding calorie, empty calories into my meal plan. So I'm thinking that, hey, I'm gonna be fine. I'm not gonna gain much weight here and I'll be back on track when I get home. Mm -mm. Eating twice a day. Yes, that happened. I knew I had to do it for one day and I did not do it the next day. I did only have one meal, so I was pretty good about that. Although you're eating at restaurants and you're having all those extra calories put in your meals and I had salmon, I had salad, but then I ate extra bread. Then it turned into having dessert and there you go. I was eating quite a bit, way more than I expected to, so my calorie intake probably doubled without even trying. I usually eat around 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day, but I'm sure it turned into about 22, 2,300 calories by extra alcohol, the sugar, uh, desserts, and extra sauces and things that are in your meal, and the plates are usually larger than I would eat at home. So what did I learn? I learned that you can't always do everything on your plan. The plan can go awry at any given time. It's just like when God says, you know, you can make plans, but <laughs> that doesn't mean this is going to happen. It's his will. Whatever his will is, that's what will be done. So your plans can be messed up at any given time. I also learned that it's okay to take a break from my fasting lifestyle because it is very strict. And I, and I be the first to admit it. It is very strict. Even though I have a tight schedule, it doesn't mean that I cannot go off of it and be mindful when I do eat. What tends to happen is a binging situation. Yes, I can end up binging because I started eating sugar or eating bread like the carbs and then you want more. When you eat carbs, which is sugar, it will continue with someone that has tends to binge or tends to go to the extreme like myself. That's what happened. So I ate way more than I wanted to. So I have to learn that you may have those moments or those days. That's okay, because when you get home, you're, you will get back on track. 
Now it may take a few days to a few weeks, maybe to get back to where you were in your weight target. That's okay as well, because again, it's not a sprint. So give yourself a break. The other thing I realized that trying to keep a strict schedule may not work always, or just be not being flexible about it is that God may be using you as a messenger to someone else. Sitting there is a reason to eat at a restaurant with other people. And you might be sitting next to someone who needed your ear, needed you to listen. Maybe they're going through something, or maybe God is giving you a platform to share a message with them that just helps them in whatever they're going through. Even though we have our own issues and problems, that is what we're here on the earth is to help others. All these things that I did on my trip and eating multiple meals when I did not want to, it seemed to work out where I was sitting with some wonderful people and people going through certain things that needed to either vent or share something that might've been personal, just needed someone to listen to them. And that's the reason why I was there. Just because I went off my meal plan for a little while, it's a priceless moment to share experiences with someone else. So you may have helped someone and not even realize you did because God used you as the tool. I thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions regarding uh, fasting in the midst of chaos, please do share in the comment section. Thanks again. And don't forget, caregiving begins with you.